A pair of AL clubs. Athletics on the road as Oakland goes up against the Chicago White Sox. And it's on 2K Sports. U.S. Cellular Field filled to capacity with over 40,000 fans for this game. A look at Carlos Quentin, no doubt getting ready for some offensive punch. Major League Baseball and 2K Sports. Gary Thorne, John Crockett, Steve Phillips. Chris Young, he'll be the starter on the mound today. Steve, what do you think the strategy is going to be today as he goes against Oakland? Deception, the name of the game for Chris Young. At six foot ten, he looks like this overpowering presence, but his stuff isn't overpowering. It's deceptive. That arms and legs coming at you can be very deceptive for a hitter. He also has quality secondary stuff to put guys away. Courtesy of Pepsi, we'll see how Bob Guerin's lineup looks. Thoughts, John? Anybody? Leading off the game, Rajai Davis. Oakland coming in a loss in their last game and with that loss they end up going one for three in the series against the Rangers in Texas. All you have to do is take a look at this club's last ten ball games, winning only three of those games. This is a club that is definitely in trouble. Well when you're in this kind of a slump just make sure you're not beating yourself. Well you're absolutely right and that's the thing you have to do. You have to make all the plays defensively. You have to have quality starting pitching and you have to have very consistent at bats at the plate to get the job done. Lined up the middle, and he's on. That's a nice way to jumpstart your offense. Now, now a quick look for this game at the White Sox and how they are positioned in the field. Infield, outfield factors in this one, Steve. Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid. Hook. There's Davis running. Drops down above. Young in position. Not in time. Safe and a very close play. Well, this was a sacrifice situation, but the defense just didn't react properly once the ball was on the ground. Now everybody's safe. RBI chance. Kurt Suzuki would like to make contact. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And they'll record the out at first base. Good timing on that play. Well, he might not have been able to get him out of the plate, but a short run over the first, he still retires his man. Boy, he made that throw a split second before he lost control of the body. Now, the key was he kept his eye on the target the entire time. Big smile. He got that one done. Here it comes. Oh! Fastball just misses. 1-0. Oh. That fastball right there just missed, just below Great the block. knees. Tell you what, borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. Watches that fastball go by, and now he's at one and two. This is the go-to pitch for many pitchers in the major league. The fastball down and away. When in doubt, that's where you go. Down on strikes there. Nice piece of pitching work. Well, he keeps the runners right where they are, so now he's just an out away from working his way out of danger and keeping this game tied. Here's Mike Ellis now. A couple on and two away. I looked locked in last night the way he swung the bat. Good stroke, good contact. See if he can't get it going again today to add those two hits from yesterday. Throws on the first side is retired. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. And the White Sox, their first chance has come. And doing the pitching, it'll be Justin Dukes here. He's starting for Oakland. And uh, as he looks at this White Sox lineup, what are they going to see from him today? Well, I get a chance to see Justin Dukeshire pitch in this game, and a very versatile pitcher. can do a lot of different things to help. Ball lifted high in the air, deep down the right field line. The first run of the ball game. You'll have to get that on the big fly ball and a 1 0 lead. Just barely got this thing started. And they're already up one. Boy, if you're the leadoff guy, that's really something for the rest of the team to look at. You've got to believe maybe this is an offensive day. Now, the power hitters in the lineup coming up next are got to be saying to themselves, I want to get there quick. Well, that's what you and attack the opposition. That's what the White Sox are doing right here. Hard ground to short. Pennington. And so Ramirez retired. Lineup for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. Scouting report, John. How about some picks? 
Well, when you think of Paul Canerco, you think of reliability. He's a guy that year in and year out you can count on, and he produces for you. And in this game today, they are definitely going to count on him to do some big things. And don't be surprised if he comes through. And here's Paul Canerco leading the league in home runs. Nobody on base, one away. At the belt, Duke's here, kicks and throws right on it, but he fouls it straight back. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate, day in and day out. That consistency is critical to their success. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Conerco now will look to tighten up that zone. Uh, had some difficulty making contact in the game last night, striking out twice. The deep right center and Chris. And he gets over and grabs it. Here's a look at the A's on defense. Particular standouts here, Steve. Kurt Suzuki is a guy that has great reactions behind the plate, Gary. You don't talk about range very much, but this guy can get out on bunts as well as anybody in the major leagues. And Quinton settles in. The White Sox won last night. A line drive towards short. And Quinton's got himself a base hit. Now breaking down Carlos Quinton's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average. First in hits, and he's also first in on-base percentage. That knack of getting on base better than anybody else. He can spoil a pitcher's pitch, work the count. He knows the strike zone extremely well. Swing and a foul straight back. Here's the 0-1 from Dukes here. Swing and a foul straight back. headed for first he throws and out the catcher makes the play oh, it's a great play Gary pitch in the dirt gets away from the catcher does a great job retrieving the ball and gunning him out at first if you're a pitcher you know I'm putting a run on the board early Kennedy at the plate number 20 Adam Kennedy on the ground to third one down. Let's take a chance here right now to see where the Athletics sit in the American League. Second triples, third in walks, and they also show up in the top five in stolen bases. Understanding that speed, a big part of how they score runs, they take the extra base, but they also will steal the extra base whenever they can. Young with the pitch, and he lays it down. He'll try to beat it out. Young, throw to first, gets him, and there are two down. Well, not a bad thought trying to get something started, getting on base to start some sort of a rally, put some pressure on the defense, but didn't work out that way. Strike one. Strike one. Young on the swinging strike. Looks at a fastball in there, and it's quickly 0-2. The hitter thought that ball was inside. It certainly wasn't low, and it looks like it was in there. Swung on, line softly to right, and that's a base hit. Barton credited with it. That'll bring Ryan Sweeney up. Now State Farm with a look at the lineups who have honed in on pitchers over the last 10 games. Number one, the White Sox. The Orioles second. In the third spot, the A's. Jays fourth. And the Mariners fifth. Well, there's nothing more fun in baseball when your whole lineup is hitting the baseball. And over the last 10 games, the bat swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. And that's a base hit. Gets down in front of him. That's a great situation for some offense. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing. Hit in the air to center field. And that's going to be another hit for them. Tagged at home, and he is out of there. No 
runs on three base hits and two men left on. Still unable to score. Oakland still zero. Look at ahead. Six, seven, eight. They're due up. And Alex Rios up. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops in runs scored. Top five. Good pitch from Dukeshire. Swung on and missed. Here's the pitch. That's a strike and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. Well, if you weren't watching last night, you may not know he had two RBIs in that ballgame. You're out. He strikes out Alex Rios in the swing and a miss. Here's a 73 mile per hour breaking ball. It's going to be Przinsky. Base is empty with one away. At the belt, Duke Shear kicks and throws. It's 0 1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. And that's a strike. A.J. Pruszynski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. I don't think he's going to waste any time right now. He's just going to go right at him with that 0-2 pitch. Oh, nice to get him to golf at that one, but he lays off and uh, one, two count. Good action on that cut fastball down in the zone. Hitter just laid off. And A.J. Pruszynski strikes out, unable to make contact on that pitch. Well, there's some great pitching right there, John. Only four to put him away. Well, yeah, and that's a great thing. Anytime you can preserve your pitch count and get a quick out by a ground out or a fly ball to get it done most efficiently. But when you need a K, it's there. And here's Martian. Right there in the top five in home runs. Good pitch as he's late on that one. 0 and 1. Just a solid offensive player day in and day out. And a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. Missed with a curve, two and one. Boy, he throws that curveball with such great bite to it. It just breaks it like it's falling right off the table, Gary. Two one on the way. Oh. Fouled off. Slider swung on and missed. Struck him out. That's going to retire the side. No hits. Nobody left on. And a good defensive half inning. And the Athletics coming up. All lit up here at U.S. Cellular Field on this beautiful night for a game. Now Brzezinski positions himself. And he watches the low pitch from Young. Here's the 1 0. Nice shatters his bat. A line drive. One away. That ball was hit extremely well, but fortunately, the second baseman had not played for And the first pitch. Starts him out for the fastball for a strike. Well, the hitter lays off this pitch, realizing you can't do much. When you get that kind of four seam fastball down and away, it's tough to hit. And that'll put Suzuki on first. And, and that'll bring up Jack Cuss. We're getting right up on the trading the deadline. This is the Number Central Division at this point. Jack brought Cuss. to you by State Farm. It's the White Sox in first. Twins in the second spot. In third place, it's the Royals. In the fourth spot, it's the Indians. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. The Chicago White Sox on fire right now. Back from the dead. They couldn't do anything right before. And now they're doing everything right. He leads the American League in walks. Catcher can't control it. Manny takes off for second. And he is safe at second. So they can't make the play. Well, listen, it's all about advancing base runners in the game. You got to make plays defensively, but that error cost him, and he came out of his hand wrong, and the ball sailed on him. This one swung on, hit down the line and right. That runner on his way to third. And let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in doubles, first in batting average, and they're also the number one team hitting with runners in scoring position. That batting average driving in runners, this lineup knows how to hit in the clutch. They're patient, they let the ball come to them, and then they deliver. Swung on, hit in the air to right center, 
And that gets down. Ellis with a single. Can't cut it off. It's going to roll to the wall. And count the run. Game tied. At the plate. Production the opportunities. Athletic. Oakland's Third opening base. that door wider. Number 29, Adam Kennedy. Well, you see the pitch down in the zone a little bit, but he got a good piece of wood on it and drives it. What you like about that at bat is the discipline to keep your head in. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, he changed locations, went down to the zone. It's a solid piece of hitting. Swing and lined up the middle. And that's in there. The A's will score. Situations repeating themselves here. A chance to produce, and they are. Well, the hitter makes an adjustment going down on the pitch at the bottom of the strike zone and drives it here. And you get a run scored if you're in that at bat. What you want to do is make contact. He did. The pace. Oh, Kennedy's going to steal. Oh. And he is safe at second. And he looks at a fastball in there, one and one. As Ralph Kiner, our old buddy, used to say, you know, good at bats is one where you get production, and that's what they got right there. Yeah, but he's also the guy who said you can't win the game unless you take the lead. Still one and two. Young with the pitch. Nice reflexes there to keep that one under control. That one was in the dirt. It's fouled off. Well, a lot of times a pitcher just throws a pitch that you can't do anything with. The only thing you can do, especially in a 2-2 count, is try to put it in play, foul it off to keep the at-bat going. A swing and a foul off to the right side. And he looks at a fastball that's in there. Side retire. They pick up two, three hits, strand a man. Oakland taking the lead, putting the pressure on. And our camera catches the uh, Bob Guerin look. Things have been going right for him. His ball club today, uh, last half inning, they proved productive. Now they're looking to expand that. And there's Jim Tomey at the plate. What a year for him. Top five at home. Here's the 1-0. That one swung on and missed by Tommy, and that evens it up. Two for four record against Dukes here. That's up high. Tommy stays off. He's got to have some confidence in this one. Three hits in the game last night. Must be seeing the ball well. That one swung on and missed by Tommy, and that evens it up. Well, if you can ever read a slider coming out of a pitcher's hand, sometimes what happens is you're more focused on what the ball's going to do as far as the break goes than you are with timing the swing, and you hesitate for that split second, and it gets in on you, and you swing late. That's what happened here. And it's Johnny Damon, one of the best batting averages in the league. One out, nobody on. At the belt, Dukes here kicks and throws. Swings at that breaking ball, but misses. It's all in one. He deals. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Veteran Damon, though, he'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Strike three. Damon on a swing and a miss turned away. To get a better look, K Cam's going to show us the curve. And a shot here for Alexi Ramirez. Two down. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Hit sharply towards the hole. Oh, Alexi Ramirez's okay, season so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. 14, second in doubles, third most in hits. And you can see that he's also not just a punch and Judy guy. He's a guy that slugs the ball, ranked in the top five in slugging percentage. A guy that drives the ball every time he goes to the plate. Well, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary, really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. Swings and misses the slider. Oh, no. 
Well, this is just one of those pitches right there that he had a chance to put in play, but his indecisiveness caused him to hesitate. And when you hesitate, you are lost, especially in the batter's box. And Crisp is there to retire the side. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand him. First base, number 10, Derek Barker. And the first pitch. There is a strike from Young now on one. Pitch on the way. Hit hard to second. Back up. That retires Barton. Now brought to you by State Farm, the pitching staffs who are making hitters earn their way. Number one, the White Sox. The Royals in second. Third, the Mariners. Fourth spot, Rangers. And it's the Red Sox, number five. Will you ask any manager and any pitching coach in baseball the one thing they really hate to see and that's putting guys on base without having to swing oh the bat. God. Well this team does it better than anyone. They don't walk people. They're the best in the league at it. And when you have a pitching staff that's going to throw strikes. Swing and a rocket towards short. And Sweeney is retired. That one looked like he nearly keeled over trying to make that throw. Well, any throw the key part of it is footwork and he had good footwork right there and that's a major league play right there Davis into the batter's box he's the top 10 in stolen bases for the league bases empty and two down and the first pitch and he watches the low pitch from Young again you take a look at the legs on this guy he can fly and really impacts the game with the speed and the pitch taken first strike by Davis. He's hitting 333 lifetime off the White Sox. He makes contact, line drive. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. No runs, no hits. Nobody crossed the plate in this half inning, and nobody left on base. Oakland two, the White Sox one. Carlos Quentin in the box now. Well, they want a do-over from Number last night. Five hits last night. They want to do it over again today. First pitch to Quentin. Good pitch from Dubshire. Swung on and missed. Here's the pitch. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes. Quentin needs to protect that strike zone. Suzuki setting up. Strike three. Quentin on a swing and a miss. He's out. Here's a 73 mile per hour break. Number 15. And Beckham's in the box. 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch to him. Not in front on that one. Strike one. In his career, six for 15 off the A's. At the belt, Duke Shear kicks and throws. Barton feels the ball, and he steps on first. That's the second out. You have to have good hands and good feet at first base. He has both as he scoops it up and takes care of himself. And Alex Rios up. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. Good pitch from Duke Scher, swung on and missed. Such a consistent, productive, professional hitter. You know, one of their best bats in the lineup, Gary. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. Well hit towards the middle. From his knees, got him. What a throw. And a good defensive half inning. Three up, three down. Oakland still ahead. And Coco Crisp to that. Hitting such a mental part of the game and coming off last night when he had three hits, he's got to be feeling good. Here's Chris, first look. There is a strike from Young now on one. Unless you stay back and really think about going the other way, you've got no chance of hitting that four seamer down and away. Hit sharply down the line. That one headed into the corner. Going to try for at least a double. And Chris stretching it now. He's in there at second base, still no one away. RBI chance, Kurt Suzuki would like to make contact. And here's the first one. There's a strike from Young, now on one. 
This is the go-to pitch for many pitchers in the major league. The fastball down and away. When in doubt, that's where you go. Strike two. Now no balls, two strikes. Kurt Suzuki doesn't want a K here. Ball! Tried to get him to go after that curve. One and two. Well, this curveball just drops right off the table. It's a good pitch. Give the hitter credit for not chasing. And it gets down. That's hit number two, making good contact. Designated Oakland in a nice position here to capitalize. Designated hitter. Right, he takes this one-two pitch down in the zone. He's able to go down and get it. Get a good part of the bat on the ball and pick up the base hit. That's a tough pitch to hit when you're behind in the count. You just want contact, and he got it. Here's the first pitch to Cust. Fastball misses away. One and zero. Pauses, and now the one zero. Lined hard down the left field line. And it's through. Cust has picked up the RBI. Production opportunities. Oakland's opening that door wide. What more do you need to see? Now you have to question his confidence. Giving up three straight hits. Not much going right out there at this point. And it's Mark Ellis at the plate. And they've not had to struggle here at the plate in this game. They just keep building on this lead. Here we just saw a big hit right there and it points out how critical it is at this time of the game to have somebody who can step up and get the job done in a clutch situation. And now it comes down to can their bullpen hold this lead. And Ellis settles in first pitch. Ball. The 1 0 pitch. Swing and a miss there. Ellis no contact even count. Steve, exactly right. You gotta believe what they're thinking about is put away time now. Well, that's right. It's not just about the offense, it's gonna be about their pitch up the middle. And the runners will have to hold at first and, and second. The plate. What a great snag right, right there to get the out. Tremendous athletic play. Adam Kennedy. Kennedy at the plate. Runners on first and second with one out. Here's the first pitch. And this is bounced foul to the left side. Ball. Oh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch, one and one. Ball. Swung on, fouled away. Here's Young, one two offering. Ball. And it remains one and two. Well, you're behind in account one and two. All you want to do is try to stay alive and hope the pitcher makes a mistake. He didn't make a mistake on that pitch, but he got enough wood on it just to foul it off. Swing and a foul straight back. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. The second, there's one. Now look at the first and safe at first. Close play, not quite enough time to get it. Pennington's in the batter's box. Took a call third strike in his last time up. Now the first pitch. That swung on, hit on the ground. That gets through. The runner's going to come in to score. Yeah, Openings for this play. lineup Open offensively. Play. Don't give it to them now because they are hot. Runners at first stand third with two away. And we'll get to see Tony Pena pitching. They've decided it was time to make a change here. Well, they had to go to the bullpen much earlier than they anticipated, but the starter wasn't getting it done, and you can't let this game get away from it. Two men on, two men out. On the way. Oh. Fastball runs inside, 1-0. and oh. Here's the 1-0. Oh. Hit on the ground over to shortstop. Fielded by Ramirez. Throw on to second base. Force play. Side retire. So they pick up four hits in the inning and two runs across. Oakland on top by three. And 2K Sports Major League Baseball. This is Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Crook. Leading it off, A.J. Pierzynski. And for RBIs, he's one of the best in the league. The pitch, swing and a miss, and he's behind that pitch, 0-1. Here's the pitch, and that's a strike. A.J. Pruszynski now behind in the count, defensive stance at the plate. Now coming off of a game last night in which he had a two-run home run, and 
you know, contributed to his team's yeah, offense. They'd the love to get that sort of production again today. Got him there. That was a nice strikeout. And Mark T into bat. His lifetime average, 262 against the A's. First one to T in. Here's the pitch. Good pitch from Duke Shear. Swung on and missed. Well, his timing is just off right now. He swung way late on that cutter. And that's a strike. Mark Tian's going to have to take very close approach on the next one. Ball. Tried to get him to bite, but he lays off outside. One and two. He went with the big curveball off the plate, trying to get him to reach for it, but he lays off. Two and and two. he leaves that one alone. Mark Tian shows patience to even it. He got him. That's nine K's now. That took five pitches to get the job done, and it got done quickly. Now you never go wrong with a strikeout, John. Now sometimes you're worried when you go up there. You know you're going to have a big battle at hand, and this one here went pretty quickly. And Jim told me, struck out swinging last time. Base is empty with two outs. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Good pitch from Duke Shear. Swung on and missed. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that here. And that's a strike. Tomei's going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. There's a swinging liner headed towards the left field corner. And it's up against the wall. And that'll break Johnny Damon to the plate. He homered earlier in the ball game. Number 18, Johnny Damon. Runner on first, two away. First pitch on the way to Damon. Good pitch from Duke Shear. Swung on and missed. The pitch. Oh, strike two. No balls, two strikes. Veteran Damon, though, he'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Here's the pitch. Got him. Strikeout number 10 today. No runs on a base hit. They leave one man on at first. He's not letting this lead get away. Good glimpse of the manager, Ozzie Guillen. And uh, tough decisions, maybe or maybe not. This bench needs some inspiration. He'll try to give it to him. On the way. First pitch, and he misses the fastball. Strike one. He is one for one lifetime off Tony Pena. That's a strike, and it's 0 2. Ryan Sweeney now. Time to cut that swing back. This is an effective pitch when you can bury that slider down and in, bury it at the back foot of the hitter. Very difficult to hit. Oh, tough one to lay off right there, that fastball. One and two. One two pitch coming. That one swung on its line. And that's going to be a base hit for Sweeney. Now, now look at the race for the, for the title in the Western the Division. Field brought field to you by State Farm. Mariners in first place. Second place, the Angels. In third, it's the A's. And it's the Rangers in fourth. A decent play from the Oakland Athletics so far this year. About where we expected them to be. And you know, in the heart of that division, but certainly not at the top just yet. Ready with a 1 0. Strike one. Pena evens the count. Well, they set up down and away. They throw it down and away. That's how you can be effective as a major league pitcher. This one's grounded hard up the middle. One. And there's two. A double play. And it's Coco Crisp now. Here's Chris, first look. A line drive towards the hole. And there's Tian for the third up. So no runs on one hit and nobody left on. Athletics four, the White Sox one. 
And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. They said his last time. Alexei Ramirez. At the belt, Duke Shear kicks and throws. He deals. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Well, that's a great location. Down in the strike zone with that curveball. And like the right there, he got a swing and miss. But even if they make contact, you're going to get a grounder somewhere to your infield. Well, he finished that one off with a strikeout. Nice pitch. And Paul Canerco to bat. He's the league leader in ribbies. And he starts Canerco out. Lined right at the second baseman. And he's not able to get there. This one rolls through to the wall. And he ends up at second. That's a double. Right he, he can really swing the bat. The quality approach at the plate, day in and day out, that consistency is critical to their success. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. Line towards second. From his knees, he got him. What a play! Here's a look at the pitching staffs that are keeping that batting average against down over the last 10 days, courtesy of State Park. Number one, the Tigers. Second, the Angels. In third, the A's. Fourth spot held by the Royals. And we've got the Rangers. They are fifth. You look at those low opponents batting averages. Those really are the pitching staffs with the best stuff. They're the a smash towards the hole. And Canerco will score. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. Number 51. Well, you see the pitch down to the zone a little bit, but he got a good piece of wood on it and drives it. What you like about that at bat is the discipline to keep the head in. Well, I'll tell you what, he changed locations, went down to the zone. It's a solid piece of hitting. And it's starting to head out towards the wall. He's thinking extra bases. Around third, he's going to try for it. The throw. And he crosses the plate all the way for first base. Boy, the continuation here of this offense is called big time momentum. One run that comes in on that play. Let's see how it moves our chart. Brought to you by Pepsi. Here's the first pitch. Slider swung on a miss. 0 and 1. Some success. 3 for 10 against Duke Here's the 0 1 from Duke Shear. Couldn't pull the trigger in time. He's behind 0 2. Well, as a hitter, if you're looking for something off speed, you don't swing at anything hard. But that's what he did. He wasn't yeah. expecting that speed, and he swung late. And uh, that half inning finished with a strikeout. They pick up two, three hits, strand a man. The White Sox are not going to concede this. They've made a pretty good chunk out of that lead. Gary Thorne along with John Kruk and Steve Phillips we bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Here it comes. Swing soft liner towards right center. And in there for a base hit. He's three for four today. And fans be sure to tune in tomorrow night. We'll see Evan Longoria and the Tampa Bay Rays. They play host to the New York Yankees. Be sure to tune in 7 o'clock Eastern. Oh, Gary, that should be a fun one to watch for sure. Here's the first pitch to Cusk. Line oh. foul towards third. Oh. Jack Cusk not fooled by that. Count is even. Time, Lifetime. He's uh, picked up no hits in one right at bat. Oh, pain. He takes a fastball for a strike. Now it's one and two. The hitter lays off this pitch realizing you can't do much when you get that kind of four seam fastball down and away. It's tough to hit. The one two pitch hit up the middle and it's picked up and that'll retire. Cuss. And at second base he's tagged out. But Gary get a chance to look at this double play and the replay and this is an outstanding effort to make the catch get to the bag and make the throw that's a rally killer and that's going to deny the chance at a big inning here two outs and nobody on and Ellis settles in first pitch swung ground ball to short and Ramirez feels the ball he'll throw on to first and that'll do it for this half inning.
No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. Loosen them up. Seventh inning stretch time on the south side. And if you are just coming on board, Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Crook, as we bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. At the belt, Duke Shear kicks and throws. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0-1. Uh, down by one. Nobody out here in the seventh inning. You want to try to get somebody on base and, and get a little bit of rally because within one, you want to be able to time it and then maybe take the lead. So play for a big inning right here. There's a swing towards the hole. Kennedy brings that one in. Here's what the Athletics have in store. They'll wrap up this series with the White Sox on Sunday. They square off against a competitive team, the Kansas City Royals. They'll get started Monday night. And after that, they'll be home against the Rangers. They'll have to deal with Josh Hamilton in that power hitting lineup. That team trumped them in their last set of games. So a lot of home games on the way. The fans will have a chance to see their guys many times over in the next couple of weeks. That one's drilled to short. Retiring Tommy. It's Damon at the plate. Homer back in the first inning. Two outs, bases empty. First pitch. Good pitch from Duke Shear. Swung on and missed. Oh, two outs here in the seventh inning. You need to make a play behind your pitcher. He's going to pitch to contact. Somebody's got to step up, make the play, get the out. And then get back in there and see if you can score some runs and add on to your lead. You're Struck out. him out. 13 Ks, one game. And they go quietly offensively in this half inning. Nothing across. He's not letting this lead get away. Kennedy at the plate. Number 20, Adam Kennedy. Here's the pitch. And he holds off for the pitch low, 1-0. Oh. Well, that's the pitch you want for the ground ball out there. Two-seam fastball at the bottom of the strike zone. Just couldn't quite catch the plate. Good eye by the hitter. One away. A look at the teams with the lowest ERA for the month, courtesy of State Farm. The Angels, number one. The A's, second. The Blue Jays, third. The Indians, fourth. And the Mariners, fifth. We take a look at these low ERAs right here. It really points to a philosophy for the organization. Limit the damage. Don't give up the multiple runs in an inning. Give up one, but don't oh. give up a bunch. Taps this one foul to the right. On the ground to short. Fielded by Ramirez. Over to Canerco. Two away. Almost fell over when he got to that one. Boy, there's some upper body strength on that one. You have to have great body control to play this game. He certainly sewed it there. And he got him. Strike Takes one. that first pitch low in the strike zone. Strike one. Now that he's established the bottom of the strike zone, it gives him so many options. He can go to a breaking oh, ball two. or find the ladder with another fastball. Oh. And it holds at 0-2. Fastball swung out and missed, and the sides retired. Three up, three down this half inning. Now time for the White Sox. This is their chance in the home half of the eighth. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. And doing the pitching, it'll be Craig Breslow. He's been chosen to take over out there. And when you take a look at Craig Breslow coming into this game, not a guy that's going to overpower you. His fastball tops out at 90-91, but he's added a cut fastball, and that's become a very good pitch for him. Oh, he has throws his off-speed pitch quite effectively, but he needed to be able to find something to get in on those left-handed hitters. That's what that cut fastball can do. Let's see if he can get out on those lefties today. Alexi Ramirez's season so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. Oh! Second doubles, third most in hits. And you can see that he's also not just a punch and duty guy. He's a guy that slugs the ball, ranked in the top five in slugging percentage. A guy that drives the ball every time he goes to the plate. Altman will come in and pitch. 
as the athletics decide to bring in a reliever. Pitch on the way. And Paul Canerco watching that one go by to even the count up. Well, any hitting coach will tell you, you can't hit that good high fastball, especially if it's out of the strike zone. It's a pitch you have to lay off of, make him bring it down to give yourself a chance. Here's the pitch. That ball is belted deep left center. That ball is way back there. Gone a two-run homer. Great turnaround for him. A two-run homer. They lead by one. White Sox couldn't be happier right now. They've got to hit. They're looking to add on more, hoping to end up winning this game. First pitch to Quentin. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. Steve, a very big home run at this point in the ball game. I mean, that just builds confidence up and down that lineup. And you knew that offense could do it. It was in there. The potential has always been there, and they get it done today. He swings and drives this one. And Chris, as he holds it in, we're breaking the action here. Let's look at the hit leaders on our State Farm leaderboard. Jordan, back up. Andrew Bailey's going to be pitching as the Athletics decide to bring in a reliever. Well, in the late innings, now it's time for the managers to match wits to see who can best utilize his bench and his bullpen to win this game. Ball. Third ball just misses. One and all. Strike one. That one swung on and missed by Gordon Beckham, and that strike evens it up. Boy, I tell you what, you throw a cutter with that velocity, that's a great pitch. You understand why the hitter swung late. And that one swung on a miss by Gordon Beckham. Well, 90 miles per hour on the gun, but still not much movement. Alex Rios. With two strikes, the hitter won at the fastball. He got it, but didn't do anything with it. And he starts Rios out. That's it foul by Rios. Swung on, hit down the line and left. It has a chance. Out of here, a home run. They'll take that one run homer. They need that. Now the lead is two. The pitchers don't stay on top of the slider. The ball flattens out. When it flattens out, it's a pitch that can get driven out of the park, and that's what he did. White Sox lead expanded here. Gary, they just keep getting big hits. Swing and a shot down the left field line. And this one gets down. It'll head out towards the wall. The best hitters in the game use the whole field. You have to be able to go the other way. Even when the pitch is over the heart of the plate, that's what he does right there. The guys prolong their career, not with power, but with base hits that are hit that way. First one to TN. Here's the pitch. That's a foul ball. Bailey with the delivery. That one swung on, hit in the air deep to left field. Off the wall and left. And the throw. And Pierzynski comes in. But clearly he's starting to wear down out there. Three straight hits against him. He doesn't have the velocity or the weight on his pitches that he had earlier in the game. He's been brought in to take over for the Athletics. Now Jim Tomey. Steve, we've seen them continue to charge it up at the plate, and it doesn't look like they're going to be swinging a shot to third. Throws on to first in time to retire the side, but not before they tally four times thanks to two home runs in the inning. The White Sox leading now. They've got the momentum. Ryan Swan's last trip. Number 60, Ryan Swan. 
Sweeney. He delivers. Hit in the air to left center. And that one falls in there for a single. We're talking about a guy who's swinging a pretty hot bat right now. His third hit of this ball game, and it comes with nobody out in the inning. First pitch, here it comes. Fastball in there for a called strike. Well, I think right now they're looking to get a couple guys on and see if they can't get somebody to hit one out of the ballpark right here. So base runner's the key. Do not run into outs. Be conservative on the bases. You're down three. Here's the delivery. Hit up the middle. Pena, nice play. And that sets down Dave. Two outs remaining in this game. You're up by three runs. I think right now you just want to make plays. Don't walk anybody and catch the ball. Get outs. Trade outs for run. And it's Coco Crisp now. He's 0 for 3 for his career off Tony Pena. First pitch to him. Fastball swung out and missed. 0 and 1. Swung and a ground ball to third. Two down. Well, one more out to close this one out, Gary. And obviously a successful day up by three and, and uh, a safe situation. So, you know, obviously looking to try to close this one out and uh, get ready for tomorrow. Just missed with the fastball. One and over. Well, the setup man right now is over the 30 pitch mark. And I tell you, these guys are used to having quick innings and basically only pitching one inning at a time. The more pitches he throws, the better chance the opposition has of hitting him. 1-1 one, one pitch, a fastball, cut on, missed, 1-2. and two. He swings and nails a liner. That is in. It's going to bring the tying run to the plate. Sweeney scores. But you have to give them some credit. They're not quitting. That base knock now makes it just a two-run game. Let's see if they can keep this rally going. And Jack Huss to bat. All important production at this point in the ball game. Cut that deficit. Keep pushing. That's what they're after. Well, they keep reducing that lead right now. Another big hit there, but you know they're going to need a few more of those if they really are going to have a chance to win this game, Gary. Settling back in at the plate now. He had to really jump to get out of the way of the last one. Towards the middle. Oh, man, was that close. That was right back at him. Somehow he got out of the way. I mean, that ball was well struck. Good piece of hitting. The infield playing back. Had a little more ability to cover some ground, but he was able to get a bite. He lived for moments like this as a hitter. Mark Ellis coming to the plate. Big showdown in this game. Let's see if he can get it done. Drove in a run earlier in the game. Two down. Runners at first and second. And here's the pitch. with a strike two good pitch well that's a hitter's pitch right there fastball right down the heart of the plate he didn't swing swing the bat come on and he struck him out and the ball game is over well he got that time run on base stranded over at first during close games you have to make the plays at critical junctures that's what the White Sox did today and it led them to victory now we'll look back at our Pepsi clutch performer, Paul Canerco. Canerco just made all the difference. Yeah, I mean, this guy came out and made this team look like world beaters today. A couple of hits, and he went big fly. All in all, it adds up to a nice day's work, and they come away on top. And Steve, that ought to send these folks home now. Well, no question about it. They get the win in a close game, a lot of excitement, and enthusiasm, and ready for the next one. Great day for baseball.